Okay, so when you first log into Remind, it's going to take you to the daily page. Uh, where the magic happens right here is in the search. Okay, uh, now if you have any filters currently applied, you can remove all filters. I highly recommend that every time you log in for the very first time, remove those filters. Now, up here in the search, we can search by a variety of things. We can search by uh, addresses, cities, zip codes, neighborhoods, MLS regions, uh, I mean, you name it. You can even search individual people on here. Uh, just for argument's sake today, we're just gonna use a zip code 98665. And we're gonna found the zip code. We're gonna hit this little apply filter. And what it's gonna do is it's going to put in the boundary of that specific zip code right here. And tells me that there's 9,727 parcels in that area. Now, on the left-hand side, these are all the filters that you can apply. So I can say, let's narrow that list down. I only want to do, let's see, I only want to do building type single family. And I'm going to do land use residential. Uh, so I'm down to 7,146. So let's narrow that down a little bit further. We're just going to say owner occupied and that's it. And that number should get down. Yeah, 5,700. Okay, cool. Now, there's other things I can do too. I can say like, hey, I only want people with uh, home equity, a minimum home equity of 250,000. That should, that should narrow it down pretty good. Okay, so 2,000, that's, that's a good size farm right there. Uh, so let's say that I wanted to take all of these people right here. I wanted to add them to a cart and export them later. So the way that you do that is we're going to tap the select all right here and we're going to tap this cart button and then I'm going to add this to a cart and I'm going to say 98665 owners uh, 250k equity. Just like that. We're going to create that cart and now those properties are added to your cart. Easy peasy. Okay, now to export that cart, it's also very, very easy. Uh, we're gonna come to the left-hand side. We're gonna go to carts over here. We're going to select the cart that you wanna export. We're gonna put a check box next to it. And we're gonna come up here to export. And then we name it 98665, uh, 250K. Uh, it can't have any characters or spaces. In fact, if you put it, it's going to say it cannot contain spaces. So, um, you know, name it accordingly. And I'm just going to leave this default right here and hit the export button. And it's going to give you a notification to say, hey, in a few minutes, we're going to notify you when your download is ready. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. I'm going to pause this recording. Okay, so when it's ready, you're going to see this green bar pop up here across the top and give you the ability to download it. So one of the questions that I get asked quite a bit is like, what happens if I miss that little bar and it goes away? How do I get it back? Well, it's right here. So if you go under alert right here, these are all the previous farms that you have downloaded in the past. So you can actually go in and re-download it at any given time. So that is how to add properties to a cart in Remind and export it to a CSV.